Hello, this is Janine from DemiDoodle.com. I'm going to show you how to make this quick and easy Christmas card using the cookie cutter Christmas stamp set, the coordinating punch, and some cherry cobbler ink, a little designer series paper, and some cardstock. I'm going to start with the Whisper White note card here. These are three and a half by five inch cards that come with envelopes. So you don't have to buy the cardstock and the envelope separately. And you have the cardstock already pre cut. So the first step will be to find our little piece of. Uh, Whisper White cardstock here, and we're going to take that cherry cobbler ink, ink up the stamp, voila, isn't that wonderful? We're going to let that dry a minute while we adhere the designer series paper. So I'll just use some snail adhesive here. That looks good. Then some of the sparkly paper. I'll have the item numbers on my blog for all the supplies here. And you can order them in my shop. So that's probably dried long enough, and now we can take the punch. It, at this point, you turn it upside down so you can see what you're punching out. So we just line up that Santa inside the punch, push together, and there he is. You know, you probably wouldn't have to do this next layer, um, but I, I really wanted him to stand out, so I used a little garden green cardstock and I think I will adhere that with some dimensionals just adds a little something to have those layers popped up so just one at the top and one at the bottom will do now this circle I cut out with the stitched framelits dies you could use any circle punch you have the nice thing with the stitched framelits is you get that extra little design in the punch when you or the paper when you do that. And then I'll use one more layer of dimensionals here. Just put him down. And wow, couldn't you make a lot of Christmas cards quickly? with this design and there's so many others in that stamp set i'm sure with some different colored designer series paper you could get the gingerbread man or the reindeer or the little eskimo girl um, we do want to add here at the bottom a sentiment and i pulled out the one that says we need that cherry cobbler again. Let's see what it says when we stamp it. I'm just going to, since this is the first time I'm using it, I'll be setting it down there. So it says, warm, heartfelt greetings for a very Merry Christmas. And that comes right in this stamp set, so you don't have to buy another stamp set. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video at dummydoodle.com. Please check out the detailed instructions over there. If you need to order supplies, please click on the shop link.